Welcome back to Plant-Based Kidneys Kitchen. I'm Michelle Crosmer, renal dietitian, and today we're making some plant-based taco meat. This is not taco meat like you find in the store that's super salty, um, oftentimes has phosphorus additives or other things with it. We are making it out of mushrooms, walnuts, and then some spices and seasoning. It's something that you can make in bulk and then keep in your fridge or even freeze it. I will put the link for the original recipe. I got it from a blog called A Couple Cooks, and we are just making a few adjustments so we make it lower in sodium, a little bit lower in potassium, and make it more specific for people with kidney disease. So first thing we need is a food processor. We are going to basically pulse all the ingredients together and then we're going to cook it in a pan to make it resemble a uh, taco meat. So first thing we're going to add is you need an eight ounce package of baby bella or cremini mushrooms. So eight ounce I've already washed mine, um, but then you basically either chop or you can just break them up into your food processor. It doesn't have to be perfect because obviously we're pulsing everything together. You could also use um, technically a blender for this, but you would just want to be really careful that you are pulsing. You don't want to finely blend it um, or blend it too much because then it can get really mushy and it's not going to give that... Um, resemblance of taco meat. So we have our eight ounces of mushrooms broken up in the food processor. Next thing is going to be two cups of walnuts. And of course you want raw, raw unsalted walnuts. And, that, and then our seasoning. So uh, the recipe calls for a soy sauce or tamari. We're going to use coconut aminos. That's that way it's lower in sodium. So you're going to do two tablespoons of coconut aminos. Great. And then the recipe also calls for um, two tablespoons of ketchup. I don't have ketchup. I don't like ketchup. Um, it says you can substitute tomato paste instead. Tomato paste, of course, it is going to be a little bit higher in potassium, but it doesn't have the added sugar like ketchup does. And you can find one like this one's only 20 milligrams of sodium per two tablespoons. And we're only using one tablespoon. The original recipe would say to use two tablespoons of the tomato paste, but we're going to cut the potassium. That way it's more applicable to multiple people with kidney disease across different stages. So we have the tomato paste. Um, original recipe calls for about a half a teaspoon of salt. We are only going to use an eighth of a teaspoon. So it's lower in sodium. And then our spices and seasoning. So cumin, it calls for a pretty large amount, one tablespoon of cumin. Seems like a lot to me, but that is what we're going to do. Then a half a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of onion powder, and then half a tablespoon of smoked paprika. I am actually using just regular paprika because I don't like that smoky flavor, but that's something that um, people would use for the, like that smoky flavor of taco meat. My half a tablespoon Let's see if it's in these. Okay, so half a tablespoon of onion powder and then half a tablespoon of garlic powder. And then same thing with the paprika. Great. And that's it. Those are all the ingredients that are going to go into our blender or our food processor. And then again, you want to just pulse it, you don't want to fully blend it. So we're just going to give that a stir. It should be pretty good. Let me show you what it looks like. Get this off. There we go. Okay. So this is going to be our taco meat mixture. And what in a pan, basically over a low to medium heat, we're gonna heat up some olive oil. And it calls for one tablespoon of olive oil to heat this up. Okay, so we'll let that 
start to warm a little. Cool thing, since this is not actual ground meat, is you can try it, right? There's nothing in here that's raw. You can try it before you cook it. See if it's, uh, you want to pulse it warm. That's really good, honestly. Might be weird, but I feel like I would eat that plain without cooking it. But the reason we're cooking it is because when we cook it in the pan over a little bit of oil, it's going to draw some water out of the mushrooms and then toast the walnuts. And so it's going to give it like a, a browned, more crispy um, texture. We'll put this all into our pan and then we are going to cook it on medium low heat for seven to 10 minutes. Okay, so this has been cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes. And as you can see, the water's kind of come out. It's gotten a little bit crispy and brown and it looks just like taco meat. So this recipe makes, um, it says it makes four to six servings on the actual thing. So I measured it and it makes five heaping half cup servings. nice to have a keeping serving because then there's plenty whether you're using this for tacos a burrito burrito bowl a taco salad um you get to have a pretty solid portion of it so per half cup serving it's 316 calories 8 grams of protein 176 milligrams of sodium 11.5 grams of carbs 3.5 grams of fiber 487 milligrams of potassium, 210 milligrams of phosphorus, and then negative 1.4 prowl, which is potential renal acid load. So that's one of the really good perks of this compared to using like a ground beef um, or a ground meat is that that is going to be more acid forming. And this being negative potential renal acid load is another reason why it is um, easier on the kidneys. Um, the phosphorus is less absorbable, so it has 210 milligrams of phosphorus, but because it is fully coming from plants, it's only going to be absorbed about 50%, and then you get some um, veggies in it from the mushrooms, you get some fiber in it, some healthy fat, it is not high carb, so again, if you were adding this to some tortillas, um, then you could do that, and Potassium wise, there's plenty of room, even on a lower potassium diet, where you could pair this with other low potassium veggies to complete the meal. So that is the uh, plant-based taco meat. Give it a try. Let me know how you guys like it in the comments. I will leave the original link for the recipe. Um, and then one other thing that I did change is it did call to add one more tablespoon of oil to the mixture at the end of cooking it. I didn't think it need that. I think it was nice and juicy on its own. And it is, I would say if you need more calories, then you can go ahead and add that. But otherwise, because of the walnuts and the olive oil that's already in it, I think it's plenty high in calories um, that you don't need to add it, but you are more than welcome to if you want to. So make sure to share, subscribe, and like this video, and I will see you guys next time.